This type of tag selection looks very classic and modern in React application. Here, we can select one tag or also more than one tag and when we again click on it, it will get deselect. So in this tutorial, we will see how we can add this type of tag selection in our React application. So here, I have this application which is modern to do application. Here, we already handle the input field and drop down and we store that values in this form state variable. So when we add task, we display those values in card. But here, we have also tags which we want to display in task card. So let's see how we can handle these tags. Now in our task data variable, we add another property called tags and pass empty array as default value. So when we select any tag, we will add that tag into this array. And if that tag is already in this array, then we will remove that tag. Simple as that. And this is my trick to implement any logic in programming. Should I give you this trick? Let me give you. So the trick is, whenever we want to add any functionality, describe that functionality in human language. And that's it. That's how you can crack the logic of any functionality. So first of all, here we create a new function called select tag, arrow function, and this function will run when we click on any of the tag. So we have to pass function inside this tag component. How can we do that? Right, by using props. So here we simply pass props called select tag and pass here our function name which is select tag. Here we are using the same property name as our function name because we don't need to worry about keeping the new name. You can write here any name, it's totally up to you. Now let's copy this and paste it for all tag components. Save this and now let's open this tag component and here at the prop we can destructure object and get here tag name and select tag. Now let's remove these props and also here we pass on click event and we simply pass this select tag here. And that's it, our select tag function will run on this each tag click. Now let's write our logic for select tag function. First of all, question is, how can we get the current selected tag? Because without knowing the tag name, how can we write any logic? So in the tag component, we can pass this tag name as argument of this select tag function. But we can't call this function here because then our function will run only once. So for solving that issue, we can pass here arrow function and inside this, we can call this select tag function and pass tag name as argument. Save this file and in the task form component, we get here tag as parameter and simply console.log this tag. Save the changes and take a look. See, when we click on this tag button, we get this tag name. But our form also gets submitted because we are getting the task data object here. See? So let's solve that. So open up tag component. We have to simply pass here button type to button because in all browsers, except Internet Explorer, default type of button is submit. And that's why our form gets submitted. Save this and see, now we only get tag name. Now our next task is we want to store this tag into tags array. So in select tag function, first of all, we write if condition and here we want to check our tag is already available in tags array or not. So we write task data dot tags. Now here we use some method and inside it we get here each item arrow function and we have to pass here condition item is equal to tag. 
Let me explain you this expression. So this sum method will return true or false value. So we are checking here each item of our task data dot tags array and here we compare it with our tag name. For example, we select HTML tag, then this expression will check each value of this tags and if HTML is available in that array, then it will return true, otherwise false. Simple as that. So what we will do if tag is already available? Right, we will remove that tag from that array. So we write task data dot tags dot filter. Now also in this we get each item arrow function and we pass here condition item not equals to tag. Now as we know this filter method will get items which will pass this condition and return a new array. So we store that in variable called filter tags. Now we have to update our tags value by this new filter tags. So we write set task data. First we get here previous value arrow function and inside it we return here object and first we add all previous values using spread operator and we simply overwrite tags to filter tags. Now we add else condition which means our tag is not available in this tags array. So we can directly add that tag in our array. So we write set task data and also inside this we get previous value arrow function and here we return object and here we add all previous values using spread operator because without that our task and status will also get replaced. And after that we overwrite tags and here we pass our current tag. Now let's see if this works or not. So simply console.log task data dot tags. Save the changes and take a look. Select any tag and see we get that tag here. Now again click on that tag. See it's gone. Now here is a one bug. Select one tag and then select another tag. You can see our previous tag is gone. So why this is happening? Let's find that. So here in else condition we directly replace all tags value with the current tag and that's why our old tag will replaced by new tag. So here we also use spread operator previous dot tags which has all old tags and simply add new tag at the end. I intentionally do this mistake because I want to show you the importance of these previous values. Save the changes and take a look. Select the tags and see it's working. Now when we select our tag we can't show any effect on our page and that's the bad user experience. So to display the selected tag we only need to check whether that tag is available in our tags array or not. So here we create a new function called check tag arrow function and now inside this we simply want to return true or false for the tag. So do you remember which method we used to check? We have already done that in the select tag function which is using some method. So we simply return here task data dot tags dot sum. Inside it we get each item arrow function and we check item is equal to our tag and we get that tag from the parameter. Now we pass this true and false value for each tag. So scroll to the tag component. We pass here one more props called selected and here we call check tag function and inside this we pass our tag name in double quotes. Note that we write the same name as we pass in tag name. Save this file and in the tag component we get here selected props. 
Now using the selected props, we can add selected effect. So here, we will use inline styles because we want to set different color for the HTML, CSS, JavaScript and React tag. So for that, we create one variable called tag style and we declare that as object and inside this object, we add key value pair. Let me show you. First, we pass HTML and here as a value, we pass object with background color property and value to has FD A8 21. Now you might ask why we add here object. So the reason is we know that in inline styles, we have to pass style object. So we can directly add this object by tag name. Now let's add styles for other tags. So duplicate this key value pair four more times. And here we add CSS and change background color to has one phi D4 C8. Now for JavaScript, we change background color to has FF D1 to C. And for React, background color to has 4C DA FC. Note that write the same name of tag that we pass in the tag name props. Otherwise, it will not work. Now you might think, why we add one more key value pair. So this last one for the default background for not selected tags. So we add default and background color to has F9, F9, F9. Now let's add styles according to conditions. So we add here style equals to curly brackets because we are adding JavaScript expression, which is if selected is true, we add that text style. So text style and in a square bracket, we pass tag name. Else, we add text style dot default. Simple as that. Save the changes and take a look. See, when we select the tag, its background color will change and after that back to normal. Now with other tags, we don't see these styles because we didn't pass selected props for them. So back to task form component. Here we select this selected props and copy it from here and paste it here. And we change tag name to CSS. Now same as we do for JavaScript. And also we do the same for React. Save the changes and take a look. See, now our alt tags have this selected effect. So that's how we handle tag selection in React. If you want to create this modern to-do application from scratch, then you can watch this video. See you there.